Now I want to show you some details about this model proposed by Hood and his group. They found this part to be commonly affected and they suggested that the retinal ganglion cells project their fibers into this inferior quadrant. That's why it is crowded and it is affected more. They term this part the macula vulnerable zone. The remaining part of the ganglion cells here and in this uncrowded part of the disc. The remaining part of the field, 15 degrees and the nasal area, will project in the zone between 90 degrees and 45 degrees. Similarly, the upper part between 45 and 90, these are known as the inferior vulnerable zone and the superior vulnerable zone. The remaining part of the field up and down will end in the area between 90 and 35 up and down. 